going on guys it's George coming at you with another video and today we're actually gonna be doing something for the Elantra um, sorry if it's a little bit loud in the background I actually have a fan running down there um, two fans actually um, it's very humid today um, we have a lot of fires going on uh, here in California a lot of them are over towards the uh, uh, El Cajon so like towards San Diego area but we're getting all the smoke and the humidity coming this way so mind the uh, sweatiness mind the sweaty hair honestly it's it's real hot and i'm just trying to collect all my sweat with this so mind the hat but nonetheless guys as always it's another beautiful day out here in soho this guys for today we're actually going to be working on the 2018 hyundai elantra and i have something that's pretty cool that i wanted to show you guys so let me bring it into the garage so i can show you guys what i'm going to be doing um and let me set you guys up over here well for those of you guys who might be wondering what i'm doing well, I'm actually sitting in my uh, stock uh, driver's seat for the Elantra. I have something over here that's covered up by this blanket. And so this is basically going to be my reveal of what I'm going to be running on the Elantra. So, I mean, without further ado, here you go. I mean, if it wasn't obvious enough, it was probably going to be another seat. Context clues. My OEM seat's here. Probably going to be a seat. I think you could see the bracket too, so. Nonetheless, you guys didn't know I was running a bride, so I'm going to be running a bride. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So basically, I decided I wanted to run a bucket seat inside of my Elantra. And, you know, it is my daily driver ever for the past three years at this point it's gonna be three years I don't care if you guys dislike it I don't care if you guys think it's rice I don't care if you guys call me a ricer I bought the seat that I like Ooh, people texting me I mean in my opinion personally I like bucket seats that, that I always told myself is when I get the money to do so regardless of what car I have I want a bride bucket seat so this is a bride uh, guys v2 and this is a, the low max version so this one is reclinable and it does sit a lot lower than your stock seat. I've been running it for the past year now, and honestly, I've had no complaints about this seat. I like it. I mean, I feel more secure. It feels more snug. I drove to Vegas for SEMA in it and drove back, and that was a total of an eight-hour drive. I really enjoyed this, this seat. Every time I get to my car and I open my door and I see the seat, it makes me happy to see it. All right, so basically, for the installation process of the seat, you do need two major critical things really you need the seat and you need a seat rail unfortunately um they don't make seat rails for a 2018 hyundai elantra what a surprise they don't make hyundai elantra seat rails i wonder why the closest thing that i could get to the spec of the elantra was a genesis coupe uh seat rail on just one corner and i believe if i'm not mistaken it was actually just this corner so this top uh, left corner, I had to get the modifications done. Luckily, I have a friend who is a fabricator, Isai and his brother, uh, Jesus. So if you guys want to check them out on Instagram, check out G5A Designs. Um, I think they're like G5A underscore designs on Instagram. Uh, hit them up if you guys need any fab work and you guys are in the SoCal or Riverside area. Let them know that I sent you guys. Uh, they'll hook you guys up. So for the harness that I'm running, it's actually these uh, Corbo uh, harness recommend these uh, these just literally use your cars uh, mounting hardware for the rear seats and they pretty much just bolt up into place and you don't need a bar to run these I'm just gonna head over to the car I'm gonna show you guys what I have to do and that way you guys can follow along if you guys want to do this as well so let's head on over Okay, so working on the car, the first thing that you actually want to get to is pretty much getting under the hood. You want to go ahead and disconnect your negative battery terminal. That way, um, because you are dealing with your stock seats, they do have airbags in them. You don't want airbags going off on you when you're actually working on your car. Um, so in any case that involves electronics or any type of airbags, make sure you guys are disconnecting your battery terminals. You know, you don't want an airbag going off on you when you're working on the car. 
it's it's gonna suck just trust me on that so <laughs> let me disconnect the negative terminal um, and then we can go ahead and start taking out the uh, factory seat that way I can show you guys how to do so all right y'all so it is a little bit messy in here but that's fine because this is gonna be included in what we're doing so you're gonna go ahead and remove these bolts which they're actually 9 16 is you can either use an impact or you can go ahead and use a regular uh, wrench and it's gonna be a 9 16 uh, drive for this in particular bolt you're gonna look for the uh, mounting points where these are located so they're actually just these holes right here that are slotted oh, there's another one on that side uh, basically and then you want to go ahead and remove these completely and once these are out you are gonna have four so you're gonna have two in the front and two in the back and they are exposed there's no caps covered any of them so uh, you're gonna have the four once the four are all out set those aside and you're gonna want to go ahead and lean the chair back slowly and the reason you want to do that and I've already undone the uh, clips on this but the reason you want to lean it back slowly um, is because you are gonna have a harness down here so this wiring harness this actually mounts up to your OEM seats uh, airbag and the seat belt be extra cautious when you're removing that so basically once you have that disconnected you're free to go ahead and pull out the seat so you want to go ahead and seat it back upwards and you're going to want to make sure that the reclinable area is actually fully pulled forward and then we can start pretty much squeezing it out of here All right, so just as a tip for anybody who is actually doing this as well, um, just know that your stock seat does come with your uh, buckle for your seatbelt. Actually, normally attached right here, so bolted in. Um, you can actually transfer this over to your new bucket seat or any aftermarket seat that you're going to be running. So basically, now I'm getting into the discussion of the back seat. So again, I told you guys that I'm going to be running a harness from Corbo. Um, that one specifically mounts up. Uh, ooh, it's dark. That one specifically mounts up to the rear seats. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking out the back seat. And honestly, it's really easy. The rear seat, all that it is, is this is just cushion sitting on top of metal. Um, in these two corners, so one back there and back there, uh, there are these two bolts. And you can remove these with either an extension or, oh, look, you can see pain. So much pain. So much pain. So much pain. Uh, you can remove these um, using a either extended drive or an extension to a drive that you have. It'll be a 7 16 drive. All right, guys, I had to flip you guys over. But as you can see there, there's are these clips. So the clips from the seat, they are actually these metal ones. They actually just clip in down there. So all you have to do is lift up, apply a little bit of pressure on this corner and that corner. And as soon as that's out, you can pull the seat out. So now we can get this a deep cleaning because Oreo has this real dirty but it also gives us the opportunity to get access to the back. Definitely add some progress. So now we have three seats out and only one seat inside of the launcher at the current moment in time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a vacuum. I'm gonna start cleaning this up because I have a bunch of change in here, a bunch of mess. Oreo has a bunch of dirt in the back. So let me vacuum all this up once that's good to go and we're, I feel like it's a little bit cleaner in here. Then we'll get the new seat installed into the Elantra. All right guys, so the bucket seat is in, as you guys can see. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. It's really dark. Sorry, we, the freaking overcast from the smoke is making it really hard to like control the lighting. So it's a little bit difficult, but nonetheless, the bucket seat is in. Um, all that I have to do now is reconnect the uh, wiring harness for the, uh, the seat belt sensor. Um, and then once that's done, we can just go ahead and bolt it back into place. Um, and then we can torque it down to spec. Make sure that you have the appropriate uh, pretty much torque spec for your car so let me get the wiring harness on and then we'll torque these down and then we'll head to the back and we can get the uh, harness installed as well all right guys so one of the things i did want to show you is that when i am going to be running the harness um the lower mounting points for the harness they actually do bolt to the back of the seat um however the ones that loop through the top of these holes and mine the glue i had problems this thing i broke the clip on accident so i had to glue them back together they actually mount back here in a 45 degree angle so that's why it is that these particular harnesses that i'm going to be running are going to work is because they run in a 45 degree angle from there 
down to the back of the seat. So unfortunately, anything that's lower than the 45 degrees of that angle would not work. Unfortunately, it would be deemed unsafe to, you know, go ahead and run. So anything 45 degrees and up would be recommended for this, but you want to make sure that it's no lower than 45 because anything lower than 45 degrees would put you at risk for submarining its safety and it's something that you don't want to risk. So, so let me go ahead and get this installed. <laughs> So as you guys should be able to see, uh, the seat is fully installed, finally got it fully torqued down a spec and the harness is all set to go. Um, so you can see in the rear, sorry if it's a little loud, I have my car running right now, but you can see the rear, they actually do pass through the slots, they go down and they're torqued down using the uh, rear seats hardware. And this is just a plastic cover because um, it's a cover that I use since I always have Oreo with me, he loves going for car rides. So that's just to protect the bottom seat. Um, underneath it's just the regular seat. And then right down there, those are the uh, lower mounting points. Those ones are only strapped for the lower section. But uh, yeah, I mean, aside from that, it looks good. I really like it. Plus it kind of goes along with the full aesthetic that I have. Um, I have a wrap on my steering wheel, so it looks nice. Um, I, I like it, I honestly like it. All right guys, so at this point, the harness and the seat are fully in. Um, at this point, I mean, the harness is really up to you in regards to adjustability. So obviously it has like these straps and lower straps that you can adjust. Um, so depending on your length and where you're gonna be sitting. Uh, but yeah, and then this is a, a four point harness. So one, two, and the two lower ones are four. And they actually uh, have a union right here. It just clamps into this one like your regular seatbelt. So you would just push it together and then it clips in. And then obviously if you wanna loosen it, Double buckle loose. So that's how this one works. And I mean, at this point, all that's left to do is go out for a test drive. But if you guys are gonna go out for a test drive, just make sure you guys are being safe. Don't do anything reckless. You wanna make sure that you get everything good. guys but that is pretty much going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy sorry if there's jostling going on in the camera the roads here aren't all that great uh but nonetheless guys if you guys did enjoy feel free to go ahead and let me know what you guys thought of the video down below um if you guys are looking to do this as long as you guys have the right tools and the right parts you guys can do this yourselves but go ahead and leave a like down below if you guys aren't already feel free to go ahead and subscribe shout out to everybody who's been supporting the channel so far stay tuned subscribe for more content we have a lot more coming up on the Datsun. still have stuff coming up on the hyundai that i, I still want to get done really just a, a big shout out to tapes underscore 760 and i ask you guys you know go support the people who support the people if you guys do get a chance to feel free to go ahead and check out his channel on twitch honestly you won't regret it honestly he has some pretty funny moments in there um and a lot of good clips in there so feel free to go ahead and check him out um again on twitch so tapes like tape with the s and then underscore and then 760 if you guys want to check him out feel free to do so uh but that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy and i mean at this point i'm just gonna go around for a drive i'm probably gonna go get some food so i'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next one so uh as always, it's another beautiful day out of here in Soho, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Later.